Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. This is episode 28 in my creation kit series. So I had a request from one of uh, another YouTuber and one of my friends on Facebook to do a tutorial, ser tutorial on how to recolor weapons and armor in Photoshop. And me being the cra crazy fool that I am, I said if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it start to finish. So I decided I was going to make a weapons and armor set and I'm going to do it start to finish. However, it's not going to be quite as long as uh my last episode of my creation kit series, which was two and a half hours long and that has over 800 views. However, uh I'm going to shrink it down. And I'm what I mean by shrink it down is, is I'm going to just do it in parts and post it and and name them accordingly and everything. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, just like the first thing uh you do when you do any mod, you have to start out and you make your mod folder. And I got one I made. It's called Demon Glass because that's what I'm going to name my armor here. You open it up. The PSD files is what I put in there to temporarily store the PSD files that I create for this mod. But So you, you don't have to put that in there. However, you open up the Demon Glass armor you want to put in a folder that says data and then we'll you click through and you add two folders meshes and textures inside of meshes I've got one I've got two folders weapons and armor alright and same thing in textures weapons and armor so I went ahead and I decided I was going to recolor Daedric armor, and not just any Daedric armor, the vanilla, the absolutely vanilla, run-of-the-mill Daedric armor. So, let's go ahead and bring that image up. Now, like I, I, I've said this before, you want to work with a flat image of your project start with this flat image because we'll go ahead and bring this up here if you open up if you open up uh, the armor in oh I, I'm just waking up if you open up the armor in Photoshop the armor uh, uh, let me try something here you just do that right there you're good but see this is the background this is what I want so I can go ahead and I can get rid of this I don't have to copy it I just figured out an easier step say if you guys see it see me do it you know I figured it out now I'm not the absolute master of Photoshop I just started learning how to use the program so and I'm trying to help out my friends to learn how so they can learn how to use it right so I have the so I have this here and I don't want to have this as a DDS file here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select all because I don't want the uh, the the background as a, I don't want it as a background over here in the layers tab. So I'm going to select all. I'm going to copy the image. I'm going to click File New, and that is that tells me that it's a 512 image, 512 pixels by 512 pixels. So, and I'll go ahead and I'll post that on there, and I can close that. So that gives me that right there. Now here's the thing about this. This is why in the in the game, the arm the Daedric armor it looks okay, but that's why everybody makes makes oh better textures for it because 
the, the textures are vanilla size. They're 512 by 512. We have to make this bigger uh, to do what we want to do with it because when you enlarge it to work on it, you, everything starts to get blurry. So click on image, click on image size. Make sure constrained proportions is checked. And then you want to go best for enlargement under the drop down menu right here. And I think I'm going to go ahead with I think I'm going to go ahead with 1024 by 1024. Now, these the sizes for textures are 256, 512, 1024, 2048 so on and so forth um, so I'm gonna go with 1024 that'll make my texture a little bit larger to work with and while I while I'm doing this I'll go ahead and I'm gonna sharpen it just once to just once right now so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let me see here. Hold on. Time out. Right, okay, I had to collect my thoughts there. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open an image. I'm going This will go back to my folder that I'm working in. And I'm going to go to my PSD folders. Now I have this texture fo file that I made. I call it Demon Glass. Just, it, it looks, I think it looks cool and I'm gonna add this into parts of this armor so the first thing I wanna do with this is I wanna go ahead and I wanna select all and I'm just gonna copy that because I wanna have that image on my clipboard now I'm gonna go go ahead and go back to my image I'm working on and unless you really know how the meshes the textures fit or fit on meshes you might not know where to put things so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open the armor mesh in NIFScope alright and I'm in my folder here we'll go to meshes armor I'm gonna have a male version and a female version uh, I was going to make a bikini version of this, however I learned a little something, I'm going to go ahead and open this up, I learned a little something about this armor, you'll see I, I, I did this on purpose that I clicked on that, you see these, these parts right here, these are the parts in the Daedric armor that glow, so if you go ahead and you expand this over here, and you just go ahead and you open that all up and you click on that BS effect shader property down here in the bottom if you scroll down you can see it gives you a, a you know uh, DDS file that it that it uses for its shading but the emissive is what is important uh, I changed the UV scale from the original which you just click on it twice and you can change the UV scale so but the same thing with this right here this is like was like uh, the emissive control I'm gonna open that up so I can read it Emiss the emissive con color was like it is is like a red color on the Daedric armor everybody's seen that you can actually change it to where it glows a different color if you open it up by changing these values when you're done it'll show up what color it will glow in the on the armor so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and click on the armor itself and open up my texture that I have for it here and it'll come up and the box will come up and I'll go ahead and I'm gonna look at my armor 
with its texture on it. Now the white parts are the parts that are going to in the game that are going to glow. Those are a separate piece of the mesh. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead what we're doing here is we're trying to see where we want to do our recolors. Now I, I, I'm thinking here and here on the shoulder and underneath here and on the legs here on either side because then we got the then these, this part here it glows so and then I'm gonna do some stuff there I don't wanna mess with this I don't wanna mess with this this I might wanna change the color of and I wanna do that now anything you do on one side will show up on the other because the way the way it does the way it happens is is that the texture is laid down on top of this mesh and then it's wrapped around it's wrapped down and then around on either side so I pretty much know where know where I want to do things and if you look at it you you can if you look at it on the armor mesh you can start to see where where what you gotta do so what we'll do is, is we'll go back to Photoshop and now we can see where our parts that we wanna play with are and like that leg piece that I was talking about I believe that's right there let's let's take a look and see how that looks okay there is parts right here but if you get up in close you'll see that the you'll see that it's got the same texture here as underneath this white but that white is that emissive glow or emissive color so it's the same part here and then on the shoulder wings up here these shoulder wing pieces here that I want to change the color on we'll take a look in Photoshop those are these right here see because what happens is is it is it lays down on top of the mesh and then this piece is doubled to the back is wrapped around wrapped over to the back these are the legs I believe let's look right you could tell you could tell by by what it looks like in the mesh and what it looks like in Photoshop yep these are the legs and then this is the chest piece right here I believe you could tell because of this here the the scroll work so we'll go back to Photoshop oh we are in Photoshop duh, duh, duh. we'll go back to Netscope and we'll just take a look to make sure sure enough right there's the right there's the uh, I, I think it's supposed to be chains but it's hard to tell because everything because on the armor this is the vanilla texture it's it's kinda eh, you know but you'll see that the, they go underneath these shoulder wings let's go ahead and look in Photoshop and you'll see that there's like a black piece right here so you really don't have to mess with those if you want to get if you want to get like crazy and mess with those and have it go underneath so in case you know you look up underneath the armor but if you're doing that you're spending way too much time worrying about little things like that and not enough time worrying about that legendary dragon that's bearing down on you because hey just a point of fact dragons think you're crunchy and good with ketchup and now if we look at this piece over here this piece right here let's find that in on the NIF files which I believe just because I believe I believe it's this piece it might even be no I, I believe I'm right you could tell by the way the the angles are so let's go ahead and look at Photoshop 
and that is that piece right there because you've got this 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 black right here so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look sure enough that would there's if you look up underneath of it there is black right there so that is that piece and this is just deciding where everything goes and, and knowing what you gotta do with it okay all right guys now what you want to do is you've got this you've got this open as an untitled file click on file click on save as and I have a foot that folder PSD files I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save this as daydreak armor dot PSD because that way I can just go ahead and save that and it'll be great okay that's it for this episode tune in for my next episode and we'll actually start getting to work